Hello everyone, welcome to Simon Tools. Today we have very small jobs. We're gonna to, uh, drive to the job site and uh, help friend out. My friend's car have a uh, Toyota Camry 2008. Had a problem with the battery. He been replaced battery and start and couldn't start. And he, the car will park there for one week and uh, he will call three other mechanics. And uh, they come and check and diagnostic and said that was something wrong with the ECU. But today I come down and help my friend out and see what happened. And in my head, I would think that's what were the fuel pumps. So I grab myself a fuel pump on the way and come to the job site. It's not far away from me, just a real bank cell. And uh, we try to find and uh, find out what exactly wrong. And we will let you know. But now enjoy cruising and hope you enjoy the sale of my car for the last time of the whistling the turbos before we put the new engine on and we will see the difference from the new engine, new turbo and the old engine, old turbo, see what the sale different. <laughs> outside noise okay so I put light on my foot and the wheel spin the traction control lights on that's why you hear that shaking <laughs> knock me out and come back in the car again Zero to a hundred, it pick up the power very amazing. I really love it. Probably uh, about if good start, maybe four second. Bad start, maybe five second. Maybe 
euro to 100k in Australia we do euro to 100 if you're a good start maybe four seconds but best start like me maybe five or six seconds it's really fast actually for a little four cylinder 2.4 just a standard engine and uh, turbo it it goes really good it does it does get up to 100 bit easy on a on a first to second gear and um, in about about five seconds if you are a good start four or five seconds but I'm bad start maybe six seconds that's what I guess okay I guess I don't know you try and you will find out you can't go over speed here man in uh, Bangsao here in uh, near Brendan Street near the church that I will go every mostly weekend and here is my friend's nephew cars been parked here for a week you can see the dust here you see the wheels been stay here and uh, so they said to me they start stop and want to start and stop start and stop so look see Look, go backward all the way. Okay, so they want to start and stop. So three other mechanic reckon is the it uh, what do you call? It's the it's you. Okay, what I do is uh, normally you do the test, and I came. I normally check the fuel. The fuel line on this car is super easy. And this car is using the different regular later fuel return. So they got fuel. But fuel have to go with pressure. And if I turn it on and go fly up straight in like a jet, that means it's very fast. But if it speed like it squeeze out like my nephew piece, then my brother, my nephew he do the pee piece and will be no good. Because it should be go up like jet because this one expect to be like 40 to 60 psi okay imagine the water 40 60 psi how fast and how strong it fly okay and um this car they only run one wire here and it's sensor by electronic into the injector if they're not enough pressure they wouldn't let you start that's what i suggest nothing wrong with the ecu okay i don't say ecu okay we started up and see how strong it's here we fly everywhere yeah it's fly it fly but it's not very strong you see but anyway we put it back because this is a different version normally i check in for the fuel fuel light regulator but this one don't have one for the fuel pump for this car very easy undo the door come over here and this side see two sides and done okay and um looking in here yeah oh shit look like my friend been playing around with the fuel pump too but maybe they check the wire check the power who cares okay see they've been tacked up too see this one old mark here anyway you do what you have to do and you think what is right is right you do it in my toolbox i don't bring any flat screwdrivers or anything just a uh, tank opener and a new fuel pump the genuine one anyway we take it up and replaces hard way easy way doesn't matter have to get them out all day today and replace it okay we try to get this one this one out this one out and remember direction of this one the direction of that one on each side and when you pull out the yellow plastic don't lose it because they only come once in every car and if you lose this one you have to go to records and grab one even this one and it's flat school driver man shit like mechanic like simon never bring a bloody flat school drivers so i have to try the hard way to get this one out terrible mechanic man i get my voltmeter lit see this is my um this is my first time like a virgin 
I never been hard work like this before, so that's why my experience is not that good. So, but sometimes when you do the job, oh shit, you have to. Even now and then, you have to set up. You know, it's boring. It's boring. You see, try to see which way go in. Okay, go in there. So, it come with four jaws, but I try the two jaw first because I'm lazy. Try the two jaws. If the two jaw work, if it's not that hard. We can use two jaws, but if it's super hot and you can feel it, use using four jaws for me, please. Okay. So this one very handy. You can buy online eBay. They call fuel tanks cap remover. And uh, get the square one like this aluminum, very lightweight, but it's working very well. You don't use the. To be honest, don't use the chip stuff because they uh, they're not holding and grip well. And uh, you know if it's not square metal. Just spray aluminium and you very hardly turn it out. See, I leave it like that way. Can you see my leg here? Put it on and try to do one turn. See if it come out easy. See if it come out. <coughs> Look like I have to use in four. It looks very kinky, very strong. So I have to use in four. I don't want to grip and uh, broken the, the edge of the uh, caps. See, two hand see come out. okay now it's loose so we can uh, take it out slowly don't let it avoid the wood the wire the cable got to like that okay we need that one to put back remember this one go this way for the blue one so have to go install when it go in like that or maybe inside got a little gap so it got to go in the gap okay now we tuck this one up and make it easy for you i don't have my racks today it will be the mess Anyway, I found inside the car we got someone paints here. Maybe his nephew underwear. We put him on here. We got his nephew underwear. This is his nephew underwear, okay? In the car, I don't care. It smells a little bit, but I take it out for do some job for me. I don't care how smell it is. But I need it, I need it. Take up the fuel pump. Fuel pump. Okay, full tank of petrol. Oh, smell wood la la. Oh man, oh la la, oh la la. And uh, no smoking inquiry here. When you pull out a fuel tank, fuel pump, and bring it outside the car, might be easy for you to do it. One, two, three, check it out. Okay, put it on the ground here, and we replace the fuel pump in. Right, when you buy right pumps, there should be this one. And now you try to move that one out and lift the one out and try to fit the new one on and slide it back on it's so simple like that okay and then when you put on make sure no grass or dust or anything inside the thumb pumps so lift the whole lot here okay lift the whole lot and replace see see this is, might be the case you see the filter here it's super dirty and they don't give you enough fuel to go in and uh, very low pressure so what i do is take up and uh replay the new one to bring my bloody flat school drivers or anything because uh i was so hurry and idiots and forgot to bring my tools so still have to find a way to make this one work i don't want to drive home it's gonna take me two liter of fuel and it wastes my time so i have to finish this one on the top side while i can i try to do any oh any way to get this one out okay repair wells uh, not a repair well so because after I chop up my daughter I'm too busy talk crap and I forgot that's why oh shit man it's hot it's hot man okay one more in this edge and it will come out oh shit man yeah it come out come out beautiful I got him out baby and one more here I got you out baby I don't give a damn who you are, okay? I don't give a damn who you are, man. Who you are, where you're from, what you do, I don't care. I don't give a damn what you are. Uh, you meet the good guy or bad guy? I don't give a damn. Oh man, it cut back in again. See? This one, the filter, no good, check it out. And here we do, we just pull the pump out and release from here 
and make sure they got a little o-ring here you see the rings and make sure your one have the same one too so that's very important for the new pump when you insert the dam cell that's the original one and this one doesn't have the pump doesn't have the seal because the seal is separate in the back here you see when you buy a seal should be a seal and what you do is slide them out straight away see maybe the seal in here will go on too who know who know put them on and the blue wire go positive and the black wire go negative that's how you put it out you have to remember some of them they doesn't have the target of the negative and positive see this one flat flat see and when you pull out you have to remember positive is the blue wire and the black see this one they say negative and positive here but this one same but this one they don't say nothing so you have to know positive is the blue one see that up so i squeeze them on so what i do is go like that go down there make sure it's on on all the time right slide down okay we squeeze now that's it that's what you need to hear okay now we remove the filter the filter here and we're going to put the new one on see very easy another clip to go uh, one is installing complete make sure all the dust is out all you do is just bring them and wax them on and put it on so be easy man <clears throat> so be easy man Ugh. okay it's on make sure you put an o-rings in all around make sure push it down got some pressure and hold the o-rings it's not moving anywhere you know the big round o-rings here to stop the fuel coming out and then you push one pressure there one pressure there and put your hand put your hand on and put this one there always pressure on the on the on the cap on the fuel pumps and what you do is uh, turn them on and don't lose it until it's hot you can before you can move your hand otherwise the the rings the o ring come out the waist and then you will get your petrol leak very important so make sure the big o rings is on position that way you in very some more trouble now you can roll yourself in and make sure this position we're talking about have to be laid on the gap and uh, it's not going anywhere it's good very important the uh, fuel tank caps got to be super close and super no leaking because uh when people fill up the fuel all the way to the to the top cap where the fuel tank is and this one will be overflowed if you got a leak here and you will feel very sorry and terribly okay here's our car with the key and i put everything back and now i close the trunks and uh car will start nice and beautifully it's only done um 98000 k it's good car you see see that's how it should be okay okay thanks for watching simon too see ya